Hello everybody, today's episode of Touch My Angel is the Father. Now, uh, before we do that, I'd like to start off and explain what happened right here and what happened right here. Right here, I uh, hit the door and right here I fell. Yeah, so, um, but that, those injuries weren't, they're not the reason why I haven't been doing videos. The reason why I haven't been doing videos is because it takes a while to edit and upload. And it's just a headache, so I'm gonna narrow it down to two videos a week, both of them on Friday. The other video, uh, that we're gonna do is, um, a biblical podcast, which for those of you who don't know what that is, normally I do a Bible verse and I talk about it, but, um, I haven't, um, I haven't, I, I didn't do it, uh, this time because I wanted to get over I wanted to talk about, like, uh, what am I going to be doing, how am I going to be doing my videos, and, uh, basically I'm not sure of anything right now, so, uh, I'm, my goal is to do two videos a week, like I said, both of them on Friday, because it takes, because, um, it takes a while to, uh, upload them, and then when I would upload them, it takes a, um, like it can kick other people it kicked other people off the internet whenever I did that. Yeah, so um plus sometimes I got some things going on on certain days and I can't do it and sometimes there's a rush to do it. Which I'm not trying to say that, you know, I'm I'm not trying to say that I'm doing uh I wanna do poor quality. I'm just saying that it was rushed for me to do some of the videos. Because sometimes I had to Upload them the night before, and whenever that happens, you see, for every hour it takes me to edit, for every hour it takes me to capture it, it takes about another five or six hours for me to upload it. And that was just a real headache. Which maybe I shouldn't have uh, stopped doing videos, but you know, I want to try to do them again. Yeah, so, um,. Let's get back to the episode. So in the episode, they basically commercialize uh, uh, a miracle. And um, they make it out to be this thing, which is not. They make it, and they show how how uh, people can take things that are of God and corrupt them. Like, um, for example, uh... You know, um, in the episode, they talk about this feather and they make it out to be this holy thing, which is not. It might have come from God, and that, in that sense, it might have been holy, but it wasn't holy as in it having powers and stuff. Yeah, so, uh, and, and what gets me is they got one part that it's like, this, um, I don't, they don't say he's autistic, but I think he is. But anyway, he wants to become smart. And he wants to take care of a baby. And to do that, he uh, basically sneaks in to the church service, which he's not supposed to do. And uh, he's like, I want to be smart. And then the dude is stoned to it, who's doing the miracles. And then his brother walks in and be like, Joey, that's his name. He, he won't, he can't make you smart. And he's just devastated. And to me, that's what, uh, sometimes I, I guess we all strive to be smart. And sometimes we do make mistakes. Sometimes we're in it over our heads. Sometimes we don't know what to do. Sometimes we don't know how to act, how to feel. You know, sometimes we just don't know what to do. And for those moments, listen, I urge you to right now, Start saying a prayer for guidance. Let me, let me pray with let me pray with our dear heavenly Father. I pray that you guide all of us, Father. We all need it, Father. You know that we have sinned. You know that we messed up. You know that we have done all of these negative things. You said, "Quote for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and we all have sinned." I pray that you forgive us, me especially, because I stopped doing videos whenever I guess I should have kept on going. But it was just so hard. In your precious holy name, amen. Yeah, and, uh...
Yeah, so I might, uh, also, if y'all notice something, I, I'm not using my computer, I'm using my smartphone. The reason is, is because one of my earpieces is missing, and I don't have really no audio, like, I can't capture audio from the, uh, the camera, so I have to use another source. Yeah, I got a, uh, Elgato face cam. I know I could have got the uh, Logitech Bro or something. I, I forgot what it did. I think it's called the Logitech Bro. Uh, maybe 4K, I don't know. It might be called 4K, I think it was. Oh, I think there's one out there that's called that that I might not have been looking at, but just remember the name of Yeah, so, uh. Yeah, so to me, this episode it really hits home because we all, honestly, we all want to be smart, don't we? We all want to be smart. We all do things like, uh, wh- whether we go to school to do it or not. Like, some of us like to read books. Some of us like to watch stuff. Some of us like to watch, uh, you know, adult things. But for those of us who do watch that, I pray that God forgives you and that you learn from your mistakes. And that you keep on, and don't keep on making the same mistake over and over again. I'm sorry, I kind of just went off right there. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, by the way, it's season 2, episode 10 that we're on. Season 2, episode 10. Yeah, sorry about, uh, I think the light just changed my camera. I think it got brighter. Yeah, so, um, I just hope that everything works out. And that no matter what happens, y'all know that there's a guy out there that loves you. Some of us don't know that. Some of us think that we're in this alone. We don't know what to do. The stress is building up. We're thinking about hurting ourselves or somebody else. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I was there. I tried to hurt myself. And it wasn't because of depression. It was because of my anxiety was through the roof. And maybe a little depression. I don't know. But it wasn't, it wasn't mainly depression. It was my anxiety. And uh, one time I thought about it and next day I was crying because I realized how many people that would be hurt by my decision. How many people that would be go to my funeral. How many people that love me. So I want to cry right now. But listen, if you haven't those bad thoughts, just think about that. And I also encourage you to contact a local pastor and a local therapist. Why well, I recommend both for a pastor will give you more of a biblical point of view and a therapist will give you kind of like a psychological point of view. And to me, the, the, there needs to be that balance. And sometimes it, when the pastor says this and the pastor, prob- the pastor might not be licensed, I don't know, but sometimes what he says, um, you know, he, he will give you a biblical point of view, or at least he should. Sometimes he can be misleading. I'm not gonna lie, some pastors can be misleading. So can some therapists. That's why it's a good idea to get both. Yeah, so, uh, and we all need each other. We all do. We all need each other. I know that times can be scary, they can be devastating, they can be, uh, it can seem like the entire world's against us. But guess what? A, the entire world might be against us, but B, we're Christians. And C, we got each other. Or at least that's the way Christianity should work. I understand that, you know, sometimes, because people are Christians, sometimes they can say things that might be devastating to somebody else, that they shouldn't have said. Or sometimes they can do things that they shouldn't have done. I'm just looking at the timer. We're at about 11 minutes. Oh, no, 10 minutes. We're at about 10 minutes, my bad. 
Yeah, so, um... And listen, sometimes we political, we take things out of context and we put them, and we say things that we shouldn't have said and do things we shouldn't have done. Yeah, so, um, and sometimes we worry about things that we shouldn't worry about. Sometimes we worry about people. Whenever we shouldn't worry about them. Sometimes we worry about ourselves, like, what does the future hold for them? We we got to you don't worry about that. And don't get me wrong, it is good to worry about things because of, you know, consequences and stuff. Like, if I wasn't worried about, uh, getting hit by a vehicle, I might just walk in the middle of the road. Well, listen. You know, we're not, uh, we're not God's ourselves, but we have a God out there that loves us. We have a God out there that wants the best for us. We have a God out there that truly cares for us. And uh, if y'all want proof, well, uh, I ask God for a miracle. I ask God to show himself to y'all. It's good to, I find that um, it's good to ask God for that kind of stuff because, you know, who else would answer that? Sometimes God, I believe he's a way for us to ask the right question. And sometimes he might not say what we mean, but God interprets that and be like, you know what, he really meant this, so I want to do this. Cause sometimes uh, we don't think about, we don't think about uh, what we say before it's too late. And sometimes words might come out wrong. And God will be like, you know what, this is what you really meant, I'm gonna go with this. Please keep me in your purse, please keep my family in your purse. Yeah, my, um, my dad had, um, uh, had, had an accident offshore a while back. I think it was 2008 or 2006, I don't know. I think it was 06. Yeah, and um, my mama, she has problems with her work sometimes, because she's a hard worker. And me, I have my threads plus this, these two little accidents right here, plus high blood pressure. Plus I had a history of breaking dogs, and I've had a history of, uh, of a suicide attempt, and I've had high dogs uh, of suicide. And my little brother, he has school. And my sister, she's about to have surgery. Well, one of my sisters. The other one, I don't really talk to much. And my brother, uh, well, one of my, I, I got three brothers. My little brother, which I think I talked about, and he, uh, we got, uh, his older brother. Then we got another brother, uh, that's related to me by blood. You see, my little brother and the older brother is related to me by blood. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, so uh, they, but they love me, they kind, they uh, they understand me. I just saw, I saw the screen go black in the red dot, in the red thing right there, but maybe I'm seeing things. But yeah, so uh, I got three, like I said, I got three brothers. Two of them are related, aren't related to me by blood, one of them is. Yeah, for those of you who are wondering, uh, there was an incident with the two brothers who aren't related to me had an incident where their mother and their mother lost all rights to them. And my brother that's related to me by blood, me and him, we no normally we get along pretty good, but it's been a while since I've seen him. But uh, he's in this um this Christian program right now. So much for me going outside, I think it's raining. For those of you who are wondering, I like to go outside and uh, I like to just chill out sometimes and just enjoy myself. I had a chance earlier, but I guess I blew it. 
And sometimes, uh, you know, we don't realize how lucky we are until something's gone. Till we lose somebody or something. We don't realize how lucky we are to have them. Even though we get into fights, even though we get into arguments, even though we get into disagreements, we still should love each other as Christians. Now, the Bible did not say, um, to, uh, how should I put this? To not forget what somebody's done for you, but, like, if it's then if you forget what they've done for you, then, uh, And you know, uh, I'm sorry, I paused for a little while. But anyway, uh, let's get back to the episode. So, you know, a bunch of times as Christians, we uh, commercialize Christianity. What do I mean by that? I mean, I, for, for instance, for Christmas, a bunch of us buy gifts for each other. And some of us don't realize that Christmas isn't, as Christians, Christmas isn't about gifts. It's about the it's about the birth of Jesus Christ. That's what Christian and some of us like to say, "Oh, it's about Santa Claus," or "Oh, it's about this or that." Maybe a it should be about that. It should be about God's love. That's why Christians celebrate Christmas because of God and what He did for us. Whenever He was born, and then Easter, whenever He died on the cross. Yeah, I'm sorry, I kind of went off on a little ramp, on a little, uh, so I had to touch my nose, on a little, uh, you know, I had to talk about something else, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, and listen, if God is leading you to do something, ask him for your audience and make sure that it's him. Cause that's what I basically did. I asked God a long time ago if uh, he wanted me to be a pastor, and if so, how would, how? And he said that uh, he told somebody else that uh, he wanted me to be a pastor and I should be ordained by my church. And to me, that's a big thing, being ordained by my church. And if you think about it, that's what God's house is, my church. Well, I guess it's our church, but still, I'm the person that leads it. And, uh, and I don't mean like, you know, I'm the big person, I'm in charge of this, or I'm in charge of everything. No, I mean like that, it's like, I uh, uh, do the videos, I share posts. And really, that's about it. And if y'all want to contact me, then, uh, I would try to text me, don't call me, because... If I see a strange number, I might not answer it. I'm sorry if y'all can hear the rain. Uh, uh, my headphones, uh, one of them, uh, is gone, so... Yeah, that's, that's the reason why I'm doing it on my, uh, phone. That's why this is different. And, um, our biblical podcast was a little different this week. Because it was basically me going over the reason why I stopped doing videos for a little while. Cool. Anyway, I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna end this video before, uh, it cut off, it cuts off my Wi-Fi. Before the way it cuts off my Wi-Fi. But listen, if y'all have any, any prayer requests, let me know y'all can personal message me on uh, my phone number or y'all can do it on Facebook or well I, Facebook is the only other side I go on I don't go on Twitter no more but if y'all want to reach me Facebook or my phone number would be the best way but if y'all do do my phone number remember this I might not answer it especially if it's a strange number because uh, I have had been getting spam lately I have been getting spam lately and yeah, so I'm going to stop right here. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.